Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999 on Chords, and I wanted to show you some gameplay on Chords. I haven't played him in a while, uh, at least in a video, and I wanted to show him off. So, first things first, let's take that off, and we are now stuck in the middle of the air, so good thing we are still playing a little on this guy. <laughs> All right, um, can I sit, jump, whatever? This is a problem I usually have in the game, is that if I'm levitating and I turn it off, uh, depending on how high up in the air I am, it will work, or sometimes it just won't. Anyway, let's go ahead and rewind. There we go. All right, I am done lulling you, sir. Let's continue on down. So I play chords whenever nobody else is on, mainly because it's just really easy. Now I was in a group with AC Gamer the other day and was able to get really close to level. As you can see, I'm 95% into level to 48 when I get a spell that I honestly don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm just I have it in my bags though, so hopefully we can get a level today. If not, then that is cool as well. We need to push past these guys pretty fast. And I think we might have to fight one up here. So, not these two. And we want to make sure that while we're looking at him, or while we're doing that, we're going to look back at this guy. We're going to lull him. And then we're going to come up to this guy. We're going to lull him. And then we're going to lull the wizard last because we don't want any wizards. We would rather have a melee on us than a wizard. So we're going to just run through here as fast as we can and go to the bedroom. And we got a mob. So this should be pretty interesting. Alright, what we're going to need to do first is we're going to need to mez him. And the reason we're mezzing him is because I am now going to take out Psalms of Choline. And I'm going to throw in my Endure Breath. See, what does this require? Wind instrument. That's fantastic. That is not going to be hard at all. So let's go ahead and throw this in. Throw that up there. Get that on. It is on now. We're going to now throw this in and that in and start attacking. There we go. And I have heal on my third spell because uh, as my third spell because I usually want to get my haste up as fast as I can so we're going to continue and as we come back around to this song we need to be fast about it and we got we got resisted on it we're going to go ahead and do it again we did it now we're going to throw this back in and we're back at going so it's not that hard, you just need to know kind of what you're doing whenever you're playing this. For some reason he's swimming back and forth. Alright, I'm doing good with our Ender Breath. I can probably not have to do the, um, the Ender Breath this round. He's halfway, we can probably get him killed. And if I need to, if my breath uh, starts to look like it's going to get low, because we can monitor it right here then we will deal with it accordingly so come on die already <laughs> one of the things that i keep getting asked is that are bards good dps can you put weapons in their hands and they become decent the answer to that is absolutely not i mean even with their epic and their epic haste that they get that um that it just still is not of good quality of the as far as dps goes all right so now we're coming into the bedroom and the bedroom is going to have a three spawn luckily we can see the mob here uh and we definitely want to make sure we don't get wizards on us if we do we need to isolate them from anything else let's go ahead and throw up our second weapon okay i threw the wrong weapon in there and we are going to start the lull. He is lulled. You can see that he is sad. We can see this next mob right over here. We're going to continue for another rotation on that lull before we start casting on the next guy. 
And we should see him, and then the last mob is going to be over there. We're going to lull him, and then come back to this guy, and we should be able to move past them. Okay, there we go. And even if I get this knight, which I'm going to reload again, we should be fine. There we go. Now we should be out of sight, out of mind, and we need to get this guy lulled. There we go. And I'd say maybe just one of the bats. If we do this correctly, we should be able to get past him and get on the other side of the barrier. Which is going to be over here on the right. And we're going to fight spiders. There we go. We're on the other side of the barrier expecting a spider. That is what we're going to fight. Let's change this out. Uh, and we're going to actually we're going to turn off the attack. Okay, attack is now on. Did not want that. Turn it off. And. And. Okay, there it goes. We're going to turn. We're going to get this out of there. And we need to now throw in our damage shield. There we go, and since he is still mezzed, we're going to click ourself, and we're going to re-damage shield ourself. And this is the singing steel bracer, is how we're doing this. Get back on him, throw attack on, throw main we weapon in, and start a rotation. And he should die pretty fast, we probably want to keep pulling him back to us, uh, so that... He doesn't get into the line, uh, line of sight of that wizard. Alright. We're doing fine. <laughs> we're bang on. This is one of my favorite areas to level on any character, honestly. If they're able to sell them. Uh, once you get a little bit higher, uh, it kind of loses experience. And you will lose experience here. I mean, not lose experience so much. You won't get as much experience here as you would say in another zone with a group or anything like that this is just a nice little relaxing place to to do some killing so i did want to talk to you guys about a few things one of them being that i plan to start a brand new character but cypher you have so many <laughs> i know i know but here is the ground rules of that character it's not going to be a permadeath character it's not going to be a no time to res character but what it is going to be is a brand new character, which you guys have the ability to help me choose. And uh, the way we're going to do that is I'm going to have a poll in this video. Should be coming up hopefully around right now. You can choose what class that you want me to play. Now, once I start this series, I will do a daily video. And it may be a day, um, it may be actually a week off from whenever I actually play it to whenever you actually see it. Because I want to try to get ahead of, of my recording. And it's probably going to be a smaller recordings, meaning that it's probably going to be around 10 to 20 minutes. That way I have the ability to upload it from my home. Actually, we're playing the complete wrong song. <laughs> Uh, the plan here is that I'm putting up a heel, uh, heel song and then I'm clicking my breastplate twice. That way we're getting 100 hit points every time I click it. And then we're going to switch back to doing the heel song. That way it's always regenerating us as well. And you can see we are now at full health. So we're going to pull this next one and we're going to throw on attack. We're going to switch out the weapons and we're going to start our cycle. So, yeah, Kords is one of those characters that I've played since the very beginning. Actually, he is the reason that I want to do this new series with a brand new character. Oh, I didn't set the ground rules yet, have I? So, the ground rules are this. I do not twink myself on this character. And I can't receive... I can't receive items from friends, I can't receive power leveling on this character, but if people are walking by and they want to give me, say, a fine steel weapon or something along those lines, then that would be awesome. If I die, then it's fine. It's not a permadeath character, but I am going to play it a lot like a permadeath character, meaning that um, I shouldn't be buffed above my level. It's almost like... Um, uh, I, I can never remember how to say their name. It's 
Lang Sign something. Uh, if, if you're in that guild, I do apologize for not knowing the proper <laughs> name. Uh, but anyway, the, the plan is to just level, have fun, do a daily series of that character. I'll probably spend two hours a day on a video for that character. And then also I have my other videos for EverQuest that I'll be posting. I am also going to be posting more videos on other games as well. So you will see those coming up soon, as probably as soon as today. So we'll see how that all goes around. But I I want to do more. I want to uh, do more recording. I want to have more fun playing the game. I took a break because of the fact that I, I was getting burnt out on the high-end rating portion of the game. It's funny, I, I, I don't put my, my character's guild tag up while I'm doing these videos because I feel that I am so bad at staying in a guild that it is better that these be not um, visible. Like Kords is in a guild that you probably would never think he's in just because of the fact that he's not even level 50 yet. And it is a raiding guild so it's kind of it's funny. But he, um, I, I wanted to keep anonymity of, of that. And you, I mean, you'll see me in game. You'll see what, I, what guilds I'm in. It's nothing that is, um, is that I want to, um, to hide. It's more of the fact that if you watch this video, you're not seeing my, <laughs> my digression or progression throughout the guild saying that, oh, here I was in this guild and I got this item and, oh, now he is in this guild, which has, um, that's in higher raid content. Wow, he's such a douchebag. <laughs> Things like that. Sorry about this. I am trying to, why is my health not going up? Do I have, I don't have anything bad on me. Oh, I know why. I know why. Number one, I'm using number one as my heal. Let's change that because I am so used to having heal be at the top slot. That's just, it's gotta, I gotta fix it. So there's that. We're gonna throw um, Psalms of Cooling. And then finally, we'll throw in our haste. Now, you may be wondering why I don't use this haste. And that is because this haste is better because this one uh, requires brass. And it is much better if you have brass. And if I was in a group where I'm not going to be doing any melee damage, that's fine. But whenever I'm soloing, doing a singing version of a song is the way to go. Because there are no modifiers for that other than your epic. All right, good to go. Re uh, damage shield ourselves. Throw in our weapon. After we damage shield ourselves, <laughs> there we go. And we're going to start lulling this room, which is uh, I should have probably just left my loot in for because it's a modifier. There we go. But these usually don't resist me. I'm gonna go from back to front. Of course, that is kind of back as well. Hit that guy, hit that guy, and then we're going to pull this one. All right. Hey, buddy, come on. Should probably move back a little bit more. I don't know if they can see, and I'm, for some reason I'm having problems moving. There we go. Let's get our cycle going. Yeah, so let me know what you want as far as the class using the, the pole. And then, as far as the race, you can give me options in the description, depending on what you decide to choose from the poll. And, uh, yeah, we'll go that route. I have no issues with any class or race in the game, other than the fact the humans, the Uriadites, the barbarians all can't see. So, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of annoying, but whatever class plus race you guys choose, I will, I'll go about it and have some fun. I, whenever I play EverQuest, it's one of those things that I'm playing it for fun, and if I get to a point where I'm not playing it for fun, then you will definitely notice in the quality of my content. That's why I ended up stopping uh, raiding at all with any of my characters, and you started to see the walkthroughs of Zones videos. And those are spaced out really far, and I understand that, 
And I have a list of zones that I want to do that have been requested. Uh, I think that's for uh, um, crafting, maybe? I'll grab that. But yeah, I understand that. I know that you guys want to see more of those, but I have to spend a lot of time doing those. And I, if you've been... Well, actually, what I am going to talk about, I haven't even posted yet. But I do have a video where I show I'm working with Nampus from Paradox and um, AC Gamer, Nonal, Chupa, all of them trying to get all the keys for Tower Frozen Shadow. And I ended up taking a snippet from what we ended up doing because of the craziness that ended up happening that night. But you should see a Tower of Frozen Shadow very soon. I have all but one key, and that's because I uh, let Terafina have it whenever I thought I did not, or, or because I thought I already had had it. Words. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you that I can solo. Yay! And hopefully I won't die. Yay! <laughs> But yeah, guys, um, expect to see a whole lot more videos, um, better commentary, better quality videos, maybe. I I've been trying to work hard to, to produce better, better content for you guys. That way, whenever you are in the car or at home or just relaxing or whatever it is that you're doing whenever you're watching my videos, sometimes maybe I don't want to know, but <laughs> either way... Um, I am trying to make my channel better for you guys. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. This has been Cypher Deck. Peace out.